Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to work on a Ferrari F430. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is my garage. And over here, we have Adam and Daniel. And Daniel is the sucker, I mean, uh, friend <laughs> that bought this very, very great specimen of Ferrari F430. Yeah, there that may not have been nothing. a better one ever made. So. No, this is tip top shape. What's wrong with this one? Oh, nothing, Tommy. It's tip top. It's just I'm not sure about the color. We have two issues we're gonna work on today. The first one is we really don't want this car to catch on fire. Oh, ah! it's on fire. And it's got a fuel leak. So that would be really bad. So we're gonna try and figure out what's going on with the fuel leak. And along with that, we're gonna try and start working on the top because if the top doesn't work well, we can't really get to the fuel pumps because we think it's the fuel pump gasket is leaking because that's super, super common on these Ferrari F430s. So that's where we're gonna start off. But before we dive into it real quick, if you wanna support us, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Go visit normalguyssupercar.com. There you go, parts and services for your supercars. Use the code NGS10 to hook you up with 10% off. And maybe even go check out NG Supercars, which is where we sold this beautiful example of a Ferrari F430. And we got some more stuff for you too. So there's good and bad news that it's a spider. The good news is the fuel pumps are really easy to get to once you pull the top up. Bad news is when the top's not functioning, that becomes a problem. So we're gonna try and get the top to come up maybe to like a half or three quarters position. I'm not exactly sure. Somehow do it in a way that it doesn't drop hydraulic fluid all over the place. <sighs> yeah, it's leaking pretty badly. So obviously both that, the fuel leak and the hydraulic leak are fire concerns, which are obviously not a good thing on these Ferraris. And not only that, there's also a leak in the header with a nice hole coming out of the exhaust. So having 1500 degree mm -hmm. exhaust oh, gas yeah. next to the fuel, that's a uh, frowned upon with Ferraris. So. Yeah, yeah, it definitely may be a slight fire risk. Yeah, so we should probably <laughs> fix that before I light the thing I like that the owner of the car is here because I'm not really gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, that. normally, normally we're all like, "Oh, you're here. It's your car. You do the wrenching." But I mean, I mean what, we guide you along the way, and if you get stuck, we help you. We yeah, you know, yeah. it's not a sink or swim thing. But <laughs> here, have at it. Good yeah. luck. But you know, if you're wanting to learn how to work on your car, hey. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I guess we gotta try and get the top up. So we'll see if we can do that somehow without having it piss hydraulic fluid everywhere. Do you guys like our uh, super professional seat protector? <laughs> seat protectors? Uh, garbage bags and yard waste bags and a bunch of uh, cloth. Because well, anyway, when we raised the top last time, it puked fluid all over the place. So we don't want that to happen again. Leather does not need to be conditioned with hydraulic fluid. All right. Yeah. Which way is which? That's the right way. Once it gets to the next section is when we gotta stop. Let's stop there for a second. You can actually just, yeah, hold. Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. Now yeah. we can get to the fuel pumps. Turn off. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see the hydraulic fluid right there. Yeah. So that block right there, see it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. right there too. Oh, man, so the question is, is the lines of this, it looks like it's this block. So yeah, we wanna put this up See right in here, underneath those panels is the fuel pumps. So believe it or not, changing the fuel pumps on the Spider is actually easier than it is on a coupe. It's kind of strange, yeah. So let's get those popped off first because the fuel concerns me more than this. Well, uh, there's, there's a fuel problem. pump and uh, that would be fuel. Oh yeah, it's evaporating right in my finger. Oh yeah, well, there you go. There's your problem. There's your problem. Oh wow, and that side, that side's clean. Well. Clean is such a relative. Well, it's not it's that. Not fuel. It's not got a puddle of fuel on the top of the damn thing. Okay, so we do have to replace your fuel pump because that is part of the fuel pump. That is not the gasket. The gasket's down there. So we'll order a fuel pump and it is side specific. I don't remember what side's what. One side has the sender, one side does not. So we'll have to look up the part number for it and order that. But at least we know exactly what the problem is and that's, hey, that's a super easy fix. That, yeah, was, oh, yeah. that was best case scenario and we got it. So well, that's- Best case scenario would have been the gasket. 
Yeah, yeah, well, best case. Second okay. best. Yeah. Second best. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least it was easy to get to. We know exactly and what the cause is. And you can diagnose is. it. That's the bigger one. Yeah, yeah. Because I was worried if it wasn't either of these, then we're going to have to start tracing lines and uh, yeah. somewhere on the engine. And actually, then I was like, that's really scary because then if it's leaking fuel on the engine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I did get the thing to overheat the other day because I was driving it so hard and it started flashing at me to slow down. So I was cooking the cats pretty well there. Yeah, those would definitely <laughs> light on fire some gas if it touched. <laughs> All right, well, let's soak up what gas is there so we don't explode. And I mean, the question is, if you're going to do one, do you do both? Well, let's how, see much, how much they are. Yeah, if yeah, it's like I 150 bucks a piece. 500 or... bucks each, I think. Yeah, we just do one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. the movie video. Right? All right, so we found a, we're going to replace the fuel pump. It's 239811. We're going to get that part ordered. So now we're looking at the top, and we've concluded that this hydraulic piece right there is definitely leaking. So we're just kind of trying to figure out how to get this hydraulic piece out. Catch is, I don't know if those hydraulic lines have to be like totally thread all the way back down to the hydraulic pump. I bet they do. That's gonna be a pain in the dick. Well, we're gonna start taking stuff apart and you know, just take stuff apart randomly. It's yeah. probably the best way to do it. By the way, YouTube, I'm not standing on these seats with shoes on. I yeah, yeah, see, wearing we're wearing socks. socks and trash bags. Is there anything on the top? Yeah. Okay, it's just a ram. Okay. How does? How does it come out? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get a C-clip or something. But I don't see a C-clip over here. Hmm. On the inside. I think you take off that bracket. Let's give it the old college try. Yeah. Like I said, I think the problem is then we're gonna have to run these lines all over the place to get them out. That would suck. I think it's the only way. I don't think they screw in or something or clip in. Adam for a split second thought it was a 360. He's just trying to beat the car. <laughs> right. God damn it, 360. I mean, it's effectively the same top. I want to make sure it wasn't going to like... Long ass screw, too. Jesus. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of thread locker on it. All right, YouTube. So we ordered the fuel pump and we talked to Josh and we think there's a way to replace this cylinder, get it remanufactured. So we're going to wait till he comes back out because that sounds like it would save us a crap ton of money. I don't know how to do that and I don't want to screw it up. So we're gonna wait for him, so to be continued. Eventually. Okay, YouTube, it's been a few days. Josh is here because ah. you YouTube, that's why. <laughs> and I don't know anything about this hydraulic top. Josh had me kind of test it and we did figure out that it is actually leaking out of here. Oh yeah, yeah, actually now that it's sitting on its side, you can see it literally leaked out and filled this out. So we initially thought it was this, but you can see this is bone dry and this is, well, Got a lot of hydraulic fluid in there. Six out of five times that seal leaks every time. <laughs> right. So he said there's a way that we can remove this by cutting the pinch welds or something like that, separating this. So from the factory, right, these lines are just inserted. You can see these dimples here. So the aluminum yeah. is mechanically compressed. Yeah. Right. So there's a pinch there and that's what holds the uh, line in. So the aftermarket ones, they machine a notch out here and they put a metal U-plate and tap and thread it and then put a mm. screw in it so that way it's actually serviceable, right? Typical German bullshit, this is not technically serviceable. They want you to replace the whole thing, the whole top, right? which really you should probably do anyway because it's a ah. piece of shit. Um, <laughs> sorry. But Force of habit. Yeah. Sorry. It's like a, it's like a hey. reflex. Yes. Before you get too far, can you ask Josh if you would like to stay for dinner on a chicken fingers? <laughs> <laughs> Meg, I would love to eat your chicken fingers. <laughs> and my invoice will follow shortly yeah, after. No, no, no. Uh, With, without without any discount. We, we actually, I made dinner and we do want to ask you, but wanted to ask, we wanted to say chicken fingers for the sake of that. Of course you did, Meg. Why wouldn't you say chicken fingers? I don't make <laughs> chicken fingers. <laughs> Classic Meg. Always stirring the pot. Right. She's the best chef I've ever met. She's got the biggest ladle. She does the most stirring I've ever seen. <laughs> so yeah, as we were saying, German bullshit. They don't want you to replace this stuff, so they're mechanically crimped in, making you think you have to pull the lines off at the pump down inside there and yeah. do a whole kit. But fortunately, there's some dudes that have worked around that, so what we have to do is grind the aluminum off the cylinder Ooh. and get rid of this crimping here, okay. and then we can pop the lines out, and then we can just send this guy. It'll get rebuilt and modified with a serviceable clip to hold the line, so if it ever fails again, which... You can pop them off. Yeah, despite it will. everybody's best efforts, I can guarantee you this will leak again one day. It's just the way life works. It'll be easy. 
So today it'll take us probably an hour or so to get this ram off, grinding all this stuff, and the next time it'll be like a 10 minute job. Nice. First, we gotta lay some blankets down and cover the car because we're gonna be throwing aluminum all over the place with the Dremel tool. Yeah. And we don't wanna completely destroy all the interior stuff. Okay. So uh, we'll do that and then we'll get making some noise. Sweet. We've got the, the safety apparel, but safety sandals. Yeah. Business on top, party on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you cut into those notches. Yeah. Yeah, like we're talking about, see how it's all yeah. mushed? Yeah. Yep. So we got to try and come in and grind that stuff there out as much as we can. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's easier with an air tool, but uh, well, here we go. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing, yeah. This wheel might be a little bit big. Mm -hmm. You know it's kind of a kind of a big cut. It's pretty close. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like a tiny bit of metal still on it, I guess. really should speak enough it's pretty exposed yeah there it goes there you go wow okay cool when the guys rebuild it obviously this is pretty nasty yeah so the guys that rebuild it will clamp this in a mill and go in with an and you know with a cutting bit and face this all and make it nice. So you've used these guys before? Uh-huh. And they do that? A bunch okay. of times. Okay, cool. No one wants to spend what the factory charges on any of these parts. Yeah, because they're stupid. Uh-huh. Well, it's a Ferrari. It, it, I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, says the guy driving a $150,000 car a thousand miles a year, I mean. Right, right. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eight miles to the gallon, a <laughs> thousand miles a year. Three hundred dollars. God damn it. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> yeah. So same thing. We'll just yep, and yep. you see the the big thing, right? Is you really just need to pay attention, right? Yeah, it's really pretty precise. Yeah, you don't want to ruin your hard line. Yeah. You know, you don't want to nick your soft lines. Otherwise, now you got to chase them through the whole top, and now it becomes a day yep. project instead of an hour or two project. So. It's not rocket science, it's just tedious, you know? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. No, this wheel on this Dremel does a really nice job on the aluminum, so. Yeah, so it cuts through pretty quick. Yeah, I forget, I used a different, I think like just a small, you know, uh, a really small like metal grinding bit once before, and it took like an hour of sitting here and grinding away. So. Yeah, that was literally yeah. five minutes. Yeah, yeah, this one's not so bad. So cool. using the right, you know, the right cutting wheel really helps. So you can see there, you, there's this protective washer. Mm -hmm. That's what the crimp comes down onto. Yeah. So, you know, I ground into that a bit. But not too much. Yeah, we're not real worried about that. You know, still, you don't want to... Yeah, don't want to mar it up horribly. Yeah. So I like to stop, and as you saw, kind of wiggle and see if we can get it to release. You can see the edge. Yeah. Yep. Start to break loose. Yeah. I think maybe... That corner right there, there's still some buildup of material. It's like your dentist cutting out some plaque. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Even it makes the same sounds. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> yeah. This won't hurt, I swear. That's pretty good. It should just wiggle out. I don't want to take yeah. more material than that if I don't have to. Perfect. Nice. Yep. Wow. Well, that was that's... it. There's just a little. That was great. Yep. Wow. Huh. Yeah. It's not exactly the most poetic and, you know, artistic process, but yeah. But now we can send this, so we can take this and send it off and they'll actually rebuild it. And I think it's only like 250, 300 bucks. It's a lot cheaper. Yep. Yep. Save you a ton of money.
Badass. Thank you, sir. Yep. I mean, they say that the the rebuild's high quality and all that stuff, but to be honest, I mean, it's not like this stuff is, you know, the most amazing part. So <laughs> right, it's not right. like they can screw it up too badly. <laughs> so whether it's an upgrade or not, time will tell, but it works. Okay. And it saves you thousand dollars or something over buying the factory stuff so that's yeah, the important yeah. thing and now since it'll be all machined and you know with the little lock plates even if the rebuild one does fail sooner than later now it's you know pop them off send it out done exactly you don't have to go through this whole process again so nice that's probably my favorite part about doing the rebuilt ones is even if they have to be done again sometime they're just so easy to take out now thank you yes sir quick and easy as long as josh is here we're gonna have him pull out the ecus because this thing needs a tune because we actually just got this the other day yeah you're gonna have to wait for another video but this is all going in there oh yes it's a lot of brap it is a this is gonna be loud it's gonna be awesome it's a lot of brat it's a full ipe exhaust headers exhaust test pipes stainless tips polish tips valve controller the works man this is gonna be badass i can't wait to hear it it'll be all right this and be now good. in addition to the lovely chicken dinner that meg made for me <laughs> now i get to do something that i can actually charge for yeah and you get money for this see boop, boop. i give you money and indirectly, chicken. indirectly, and chicken, yeah. Dude, and people on the internet are worried about our relationship. Yeah, they, they're all like, oh, Dan. I mean, I mean, you all watch enough of the YouTubes. I mean, I can understand why you'd be concerned, but well, I mean, we're yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, and these <laughs> actually have the header wrap, too. The blankies? The blankets, yeah. So, oh, that means it's going to burn in real nice. That's going to be fun. Can't wait for that. <laughs> Schmoke. Oh, yeah. Okay, in case you're wondering, here is the hydraulic pump for the top and all the lines for it and everything. So to get access to it, you basically just pull off this trim and literally just yank that panel off. It was super, super easy. So we're gonna eventually, we're gonna disconnect these, pull it out, we're gonna have to add hydraulic fluid. We're not gonna do that today, but that's something we're gonna do in the future. All right, guys, so that was kind of like phase one of the 430 turd. So this car is our turd project. It's gonna eventually be glorious or at least really really nice we're gonna get it back to good we're gonna get it back to good and functioning and the owner daniel is gonna be happy we got a lot of parts that are in shipping or on their way or whatever so you need to stay tuned for that because we'll be wrenching again on some more so we got the fuel pump on its way fuel pump gaskets we're gonna send off that hydraulic ram we got the exhaust here got a ton of stuff i mean a lot of work is going to happen on this car so all of that's coming up soon so please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell because then you can join us on this journey for this car to turn it from a turd to something awesome and enjoyable also go check out normalguyssupercar.com there you can buy parts and services for your car including that ip exhaust we do sell ipe klein and a bunch of other amazing brands we don't sell really any oem parts so if you're looking for oem parts you have to go somewhere else but other than that you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be doing a lot of cool car stuff, so you're going to want to stay tuned. It's going to be sweet.